Tougher standards for a golf course. State and federal regulators are putting pressure on the city to stop runoff from the golfing greens. It's to keep our blue oceans from turning brown. KITV's Catherine Cruz has a look at a new project that the EPA says is the first of its kind. It's the busiest public golf course in the world, next to one of the most polluted waterways in the country. State and federal regulators are working to ensure the city is doing more so that it's not contributing to the runoff problem. And actually, that's one of the big sources of pollution in the state, is non-point source pollution, where you see like a lot of areas that has dirt, it's not grassed, and when it rains, it just runs into the storm drains and then it enters our receiving waters. The EPA has been cracking down on industrial and wastewater plant pollution and is now zeroing in on storm drains. The final source is what comes down from the heavens when it lands on the ground, picks up all the stuff from oil to pollutants um, like pesticides to silt. Thanks to a $1.5 million federal loan, the city's driving range, which is brown, will be transformed into manicured greens using nutrients from the Sand Island Sewage Treatment Plant. This project here will basically involve regrassing. It'll Im involve some irrigation improvements as well as the installation of some, some planted buffer strips. It will result in improved facilities for golfers and a way to filter pollution from getting into the ocean where it'll impact fish, coral, and ocean users. Following the driving range facelift will be a $5 million project to improve runoff from the parking lot. The focus on stormwater is an EPA priority for the Pacific region. When it rains, all that stormwater junk goes into our water that we care about. So yes, we, the stormwater permits are going to get stricter and they're going to apply to smaller and smaller facilities. In some states, there's already a move to institute a rain tax to pay for some of the needed improvements and stricter regulations call for. The EPA isn't advocating for how to pay for it, but it says it just wants states and cities to get ahead of the stormwater problem and keep our oceans clean. You can expect a lot more focus on the Alawai in the months and years to come. The Army Corps of Engineers has a flood control project underway, and this year the governor's proposing to spend $8 million to dredge the canal. Catherine Cruz, KITV Island News. And interesting to note, Catherine says today it's the city golf course, but the EPA says that other large properties like malls may need to start taking heed and thinking about water, water runoff if they have not already. And it might not be a bad idea for homeowners to actually see if their yards are contributing to this problem as well.